right, here it comes. Big old load. It seems like it seems like we're getting ready for something. So a lot of the area over here is cleared out. It's where our big delivery's coming in. Right up here where the shed was. Oh, what you got? You got a little hatchet? You're gonna cut down a tree with that? You're like 20 seconds. Oh, 20 seconds. I need eye protection. Pulling you down, you let go. Okay. We'll go that way. Beagle, you think you're gonna get this big long stick like that? What are you gonna do with that big stick? You can't do nothing with that. Too big. Oh, you gonna try to smash it up? Ah, smash it up. Smash it up.
just saw the, the shipping containers here and I'm gonna try to help them out um, navigating where to put it. good you think yeah. I think so yeah Pretty awesome. Of course, pad box work. Yeah. Great for him. Yeah. Uh, Okie dokie. There's an additional, uh, I call it a guard block or what have. Um, it's about like that, like that. It just slides over and you can just do a key in it. Okay. Do it. Alrighty. You are set. Awesome. I appreciate it. Go. Okay. Go have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, this is it. Okay. Supposed to be like a quick open thing. Okay, let's go look. Vigo, how come you're always the first one? So it looks like there's hooks up in the top there if you ever oh. you want to hook some straps there. And okay. You could probably hang a bunch of stuff along the sides, just say. And then, so see, it doesn't have a back. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Sorry, That's I was getting stuff all around. Oh, and there's uh, hooks on the bottom too. So this should meet the needs for the winter at least. I think so. I think we should get 95% of the stuff at least out or more mm -hmm. or all of it. So cool. One more look of this room <laughs> before everything's cleared out. I mean, it looks like you can hardly, hardly a square inch. But also a fitness room, also tool, garbage, tool, workshop, storage. Yep. So much stuff. Come on. Oh. Hey. All right. Things are getting moved in. Those big racks. That looked like they took up so much room in the basement. And now it's, there's plenty of room to spare. moved out of the basement yep. and everything's still pretty accessible yeah, a little tweaking around here well, a lot of tweaking around. well organizing is always a factor you had everything nice and organized at one point you can start with my robot then. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay let's take a spin through the basement now that everything's been moved out it's a little bit more of a living area now is what we intended to be not necessarily just a storage unit or a workshop. So um, I'm standing at the door, right? Uh, coming right in, um, don't mind the shoe rack, but this is my area for uh, art projects, jewelry making, arts and crafts, whatever you wanna call it. Here's a creative corner and I've got my bee stuff as well. So those are my feeders I'm gonna put in tomorrow. Uh, so bee storage and art stuff right here in this, in this initial corner. 
And then the mechanical room, probably the biggest difference. This is where a washer and dryer are and a sink. So Brian kept one bench, but everything else is out. Um, there, this is where our furnace is and our uh, utility box and our water pump. So probably the main reason why um, we wanted to move everything out of here, other than just to get rid of stuff, was that we're going to be doing some work this winter in the basement. So primarily finishing the drywall. Okay, there's still quad lock clearly on the walls here. And then above, Brian wants to install the radiant heat flooring for the kitchen. So that'll make a really big difference. We also have dreams of doing epoxy floor. Uh, it would be nice to kind of clean this up and make it look a little nicer. Um, and we want to uh, panel the ceiling as well. That's definitely quite a few projects for the basement. So we'll see what we can get done this winter. It's a lot, usually a long winter. Let's take a look through the rest of the basement. So the nice spiral staircase still got the railing system to install on that. But directly across, you might have seen pictures before of our fitness area. So we had the spin bikes and Brian's bike collection, but also we added some weight training equipment because, you know, gym, our gym's closed around here and we still um, are serious about our fitness. So we've been ordering piecemealing things as we could get them. But it's definitely a nice little workout area. And looks like Brian is coming to work out. That's right. <laughs> With some fig bars. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we still got the recycling in here, the garbage can. So Brian worked all day moving everything out and now he's gonna ride his bike. No rest for the weary. This is fun work though. This is fun workout, okay. <laughs> and then um, the other half of the basement is pretty empty. So, you know, just a couple, a few little things, um, you know, big, big wall. So we definitely have room to work here. Um, up right above is the bathroom area and Brian is wanting to install the radiant floor heating in this area as well. So it's still open. So this section, we want to do radiant floor heating. And then, like I said, we're going to panel off the entire ceiling of the basement area as well. So there's still a lot of projects to do in the basement, but now we have room to work in and room to play in. So not too bad. We're really happy with the storage container. Um, I don't know if we added the pricing to it, but it's about $100 a month. So pretty affordable for long-term storage solutions, probably less than your storage units that you would uh, be renting out and, and holding. And it's, a, it's much bigger. And they, so we're hoping that works out for us this winter and it kind of gives Brian even another area to work, sheltered from the wind. Um, if there, you know, there's a, little, a few little workshop items there and a safe place to store, store all our tools and get a lot of the things that were out um, in the elements in some, um, inside safely. So, so thanks for joining in guys. Just want to give you an update on that shipping container and hope you enjoyed the uh, creative tree felling as well. So we'll see you in the next video and we'll update you on the driveway. We're going to try some of your suggestions about weighting down the, the trailer gate so we can uh, get a nice smooth finish there. See ya. Bye now.